said. So, do we need to do anything on that? No. Okay. Okay. All right. That's all I have. Okay. Any questions for Mary? No. And on, on the agenda? I don't have any. Okay. Well, thank you for the research on that and the light deal. All right. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Yep. You too, Mary. But, uh, county auditors, line items, Bob. And then. Uh, Is there? At this time, I'll make a motion to approve the claims as presented and sign for approval. Okay, second. All right, we have a motion and a second to uh, authorize the chair's signature and accept the claims presented this morning. All in favor? Aye. 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 Payroll, any? I have here uh, three payroll changes, all for Pam, Pamela Raymond in the Sheriff's Department. Pamela is replacing Tara Katmeyer who resigned, and these, uh, the additional two payroll changes are per union contract. Pamela is a new employee, so this payroll needs to be approved by resolution. Mr. Chairman, at this time I move to approve resolution 2011 number 82. Okay. We have a motion. I'll second our... resolution 2011 number 82. Okay. So motion and second in favor of approving payroll resolution number 82 in reference to uh, Pamela Raymond's employment. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have any other line items under payroll? No. Warrant reports or anything? Okay. No. And uh, drainage. Uh, there's uh, these prep programs. We run into them every once in a while and then our jurisdiction comes in where we maintain a county main, and uh, we have some. Do we have some background or more information on that? The Wetland Development Drainage Agreement um, does affect the CREP program that's being done in Drainage District 60, which is a established drainage district for some of our trustees, and this is a standard agreement that is entered into between the prop property owner and the trustees of the district. The, there was a delay in getting the signer um, from the property owner um, to some legal work that had to be completed. It is ready for consideration by the Board of Supervisors, and my understanding, Bob, is that construction will be beginning within the next week or two. I knew they wanted to get started on fairly quick. Uh, this is, as you know, we're, they're doing a, a current program just part of it down here called two or three miles. And, uh, they finally got all their legal work and their paperwork in order, and, and what this amounts to is we've got to sign for uh, for our end of the whole thing. So at this time, I'll make a motion that we uh, uh, sign the drainage agreements okay. well, for the wetlands reserve program. Okay. Uh, we have a motion in a second. Uh, does that jump out at you, Jay? Yeah, it's right on the it's right on the uh, township line between uh, Falls and. Yep. and uh, Okay. Lime Creek. Okay. All right. With that, it's been motion and second for to authorize the chairman's signature on the wetland development drainage agreement with uh, RNL Real Realty concerning the prep program in Drainage District 60. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And Sandy, we're going to refer to you. Uh, we have. Uh, a motion to create a new fund for the West Fork Community Schools. Is that to do with elections or collection of property tax board staff? I have one more drainage oh, item. Okay, pardon me. We'll, um, we're going to be still on drainage for a moment. Okay. Gary Sutcliffe has reported um, slow uh, drainage of water a problem in Drainage District 71. And I think it was a rather urgent matter. Yep. Um, but it's before the boards. Yeah, slow or no flow because it's so dry. I'd say no. Yeah. But that's very yeah. yeah. It's a good time to take care of those when it's dry to get in. Yep. Yeah. 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 Gary Sutcliffe called me the other day and wanted to know if we'd take a look at it. And, and I said, go out and fill the paperwork. And I said, we'll get to it as quick as possible. And he was lucky enough that Larry Thurman stopped in that day. So he went out and took a look at it. And, Doing the appropriate stuff, so at this time I'll make a motion that we have our experiment investigated okay. and do what uh, needs to be done. All right. 
I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and second to investigate and uh, complete said yeah. repairs. Yeah. Gary Sutcliffe's uh, what, section 28, and, uh, drainage district 71. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. We'll uh, be moving along to, is there any other drainage? I, no. Okay. Moving along to this fund, uh, is it because of the change of this, the school's name, if you will? Yeah, the merger of West Fork um, created some details to resolve when it came time for tax calculation. Um, tax districts changed and what have you and, and combined and merged. Now that taxes are certified and they're being collected, um, the treasurer's office needs a fund from which to apportion the money that's collected, the tax money, for the West Forks Community School District. So Heather uh, proposed this fund by the for that purpose. My motion is, a, is acceptable to you. Motion to uh, create a new fund for the West Forks School District. Okay. Second. All right, it's been motion and second in favor of creating a new fund, uh, 585 for the West Fork Community Schools. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Moving along, uh, letter C under the county treasurer's line items. We have quite a, a list of things. Uh, first of all, will be a motion to abate the second half of the uh, 2012 taxes on because uh, of the VIN number that would uh, amount to a trailer home vehicle identification number in the amount of uh, fifty nine dollars. Motion to pay. Okay. Second. Right. Then motion and second in favor of baiting the taxes in the amount of uh, fifty nine dollars for the said VN VNI number. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Moving along, number two. This is to abate taxes with a drainage assessment for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife as follows. Um, now, that's the federal grant, that's not the state DNR, right? The U.S. Fish right. Okay. Right. has to do with... Um, I, think most, I think most of these happen to have to do with the Union Hills project. Okay. And what it is is uh, the federal government, especially the Fish and Wildlife, will not pay drainage assessments, uh, which makes it a, a burden on the rest of the repairs, but that's, you know, I guess you don't fight the federal government. Okay. And these are, these are parcels that need to be um, baited so we can finish up and, and clean up what's going on. Okay. Sure, most of us run in the drainage uh, district 31, the mm -hmm. massive okay. district yep. down there. Yep. All right. So at this time, I'll make a motion to abate the taxes, uh, uh, tax assessment on DR31B for $793. Okay. Um, Bob, I think that's the total for all items A through L. Right, that's that's okay. that, that's, the total. Right. that's what I meant, is okay. for all right. A through L. I'll second that. All righty. Okay, we have a motion and a second to uh, Bait the taxes for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife following uh, A through letter L, and uh, some amounts vary, but the total is uh, 793. Any uh, discussion? Other than I can comment, this is an annual. We do this annually. Yeah, it's just not. Okay. All right. I'll call for the uh, vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Number three. Uh, motion to abate the taxes and plus the interest and cost on a parcel as follows in uh, delete tax sale um, now between 1982 and uh, what's 512 oh the the fifth month of uh, yeah tax, uh, the, the second half of the of the 2012 taxes sandy you tried to explain it to me yesterday <laughs> and as i say tried to okay well it it, it, it seems she like did as good as she seems could. like you want the floor here. <laughs> I always do my best. <laughs> um, I understand that the treasurer would like to um, delay action on this. She would like to have you table this. This is a situation that was brought forward, brought to our attention by Jerry Stambaugh. There's a private road that sits in Commercial Park. 
edition and commercial park second edition that was not um, mapped correctly and the value on that road was not placed properly according to the owners. So I had spent some time studying what Jerry had brought to my attention. I had laid out a plan of action and Jerry had just responded this morning and I haven't had a chance to review his response. Pat was not prepared to have the board consider abatements on okay. this matter until after I had been in contact with Jerry Stambaugh. So it's a little bit of a rough background, but the real piece you care to know is that Pat would like to table it. Okay, so let's, so let's table it until we get it all figured out. So I'll make a motion that we table the uh, item number three until we get a little more information on it. All right. Second. That's a motion and a second to table item num number three under the uh, County Treasurer's line items uh, concerning abatement. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, with that, um, we'll be moving along to uh, letter D, agreements and contracts. I have none at this time. Okay. Point. Nope. All right. Correspondence and communication? I don't know. Neither. Can I maybe say something here at this point? I think is pertinent. Okay. Um, you know, last month we talked about there, that uh, Mary had attended these meetings on the for looking into raising revenues for the roads and bridges. Uh -huh. There's a bill in Washington, two versions of a bill called we refer to it as a highway bill. The Republican version was going to defund what they're spending now. They're going to spend. They're going to allocate less for roads and bridges. The Senate version is it, uh, is uh, one that funds more, which is sorely needed. We all know, right? I mean, Mary gave her report that their bridges and roads are falling apart. So uh, I'd urge everybody to contact your congressman to uh, tell him to kill the Republican version of the bill, which is a seven-year deal that's going to be once again, spend less on road improvements and bridge improvements because we need it. It creates jobs, if nothing. I mean, you know, we need these roads. You know, if you don't care about the jobs, we got bridges falling down and roads that sorely need a repair. So I urge everybody to contact the congressman and the representatives to tell them to kill the Republican bill, pass the Senate version of the bill. I don't know if that's appropriate for this meeting or this forum, but I think it it, it is important for the county to get some funding on the federal level because you know I don't have to tell you how yeah okay thank well, you. whether it was appropriate or not we thank you for your comments <laughs> okay <laughs> that's rare <laughs> okay okay we have a motion for adjournment second uh, and a second all in favor for adjournment say aye aye, aye. aye. okay thank you Do you have any idea what the, like the number of the bill or anything? I, I, I've never seen a number to okay. it this yet. Probably yes. a number for you. Not yet.